it took me months to understand how lifetimes work in rust and i don't want you to take months to understand it i want you to understand it in a few minutes although it might take you a few months as well stick to it um i kind of understand it uh, not in full context obviously but i finally understand the basics of it and sometimes it's better to understand it from someone who only kind of understands it than someone who completely understands it in all contexts because it's it, it's just so unfathomable to uh, an expert and that some beginner can't understand why and how to use lifetimes or any concept any new unfamiliar concept like rust lifetimes and um, it's better to learn from a beginner because i know the problems in that you're facing because i it just clicked like two days ago i kind of got the entire picture only kind of as i said so uh, i'm going to explain to you why how and everything about it I'm going to use examples from JavaScript as well although I'm not going to write any JavaScript code maybe I will but I'm trying to stick to Rust I'm try- I will try and stick to Rust and make you understand in Rust itself the number one concept that you need to know right now is the concept of scopes and how they matter in Rust the thing is that if I create a new scope and if you don't know what a scope is I think uh, you should read up on it do your own research you would learn better that way anyways so uh, this right here is a scope if i declare any new variables in the scope when i declare new variables in the scope but what's different about this is that at the end of the scope right here the memory related to the scope as in the only memory right now is x x will be wiped out of its existence at the end of the scope some people who know how to know a level languages might as well just imagine there's a free function going on over here right you can just imagine this happening that means that x the memory related to x is being wiped off the face of the computer all right it's just over even if i want to show you the example to this let me say ignite ref x and if i say ref x equals to the reference to x the moment you use it it's going to show an error because when you're not using it there's no problem there is no chance of anything going wrong i'm going ahead of myself i'm going to see this and now there's an error x does not live long enough let's go over here and let's say can't go check and let's check out what the error actually is borrower value does not live long enough as i said x at the end of this will be wiped out so when i'm using refx which is point which is just pointing to the value of x this is just pointing to x this is a pointer to x it's not actually x it's so when i use this reference to x at the end of this scope right here at this point the memory related to x and the value 7 is not in the computer anymore this right here ref x points to dead memory which will make the program crash which will make any program crash whenever you point to dead memory or null in any program it crashes when you're trying to use it that's that's just what happens in computers and in this case that is what will happen because at the end of this scope when it reaches this function the ref x doesn't exist the ref x the reference points to dead memory so rust just doesn't allow that to happen rust does not want that to happen and and this is how rust works this is a fundamental philosophy of rust you just have to accept it at some point that some smart people got together and they created this language based on a certain fundamental set of principles and you just have to obey it you will understand it as you uh, use it more and more and more every day but at w- the first thing that you need to do is just accept it it's happening what does this have to do with, with lifetimes when you are creating a function in rust rust wants to make sure that every function you create that takes references every function that takes references not full values not not any function that takes ownership of values every function that takes references to values these references that it receives this function any function in rust should live as long as the function itself so what i mean to say in short is that any function that takes references and returns one of these references at the end of the function needs to specify that these references live as long as the function itself let me code it out for you
now you get the error missing lifetime specifiers huh missing lifetime specifiers now the way you give these lifetimes let's just solve this error right now and then we'll get into what this actually mean let's create a lifetime specifier right here and that clears out the error let's clean out everything over here let's create a new variable right here now as you can see right here over here what is happening is that second does not live long enough that is the error that we are being showed since we've told the rust compiler that hey this x lives just as long as y lives just as long as y is denoted by this one single quotation and a this is how long it lives for a a long it lives for a long which means x should live as long as y but unfortunately right here first does not live as long as second second lives way lesser than first does first lives from here to here and second lives from only year to year the scope of first is larger than the scope of second that means second will be cleaned up first second will be cleaned up before first and this right here could be first or second right in this case it will be second so if this program actually worked if the compiler didn't show us any error and it didn't stop us from compiling it and running it the program would crash because it's pointing to dead memory because second will be removed from existence at the end of this so even if second is the largest uh, variable it will be clean from memory and over here there will be no second to point to we are returning a pointer to the second variable but there will be no value to point to you get me so that's pretty much how this entire thing works this is why you need lifetime so that we can create robust functions that takes in references and can guarantee the fact that these shouldn't that these references don't return dead data or dead values and stop the entire program from crashing this is what i understand if you have any other interpretations of lifetimes do give it to me in the in the comment section research about this watch videos again and again try to read about it in the book the rest book and all the best